And the war has entered its 10th day and there is no sign of a ceasefire in sight. Peace seems like a distant dream at this point, as casualties on both the sides continue to rise. The Gaza Strip is witnessing an unprecedented catastrophe due to the total siege imposed on the region. After the Hamas attack, Israel has cut off supply of all critical essentials, food, water, medicines, electricity and fuel. For the last eight days, no humanitarian aid has reached Gaza. The region is down to its last reserves of all essentials. On the top of that, Israel has ordered people of northern Gaza to shift towards south ahead of a planned ground offensive. And this would mean a disproportionate number of people with with resources in the south of Gaza. في ازمه في الغداء في المياه في الكهرباء يعني الناس مش عارفه تعمل اي حاجه في هذا الظروف في ازمه يعني لو تروحوا على البيوت تصوروا داخل البيوت يعني هتشوفوا حاجات كارثيه جدا Now Israel says it has restored the supply of water in southern Gaza after the talks between Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and US President Joe Biden Israel's minister says that this will make the Gazans move towards south. Israel says that the evacuation order is to protect civilians and to distance them from the militants. Until now, one million people have been displaced in Gaza as per the United Nations. A number is likely to go up as people continue to move south, leaving behind their homes. While people carrying their whole existence in bags uh, are moving on bikes, cars, donkeys and even on foot and this has become a common sight in Gaza. This as Israel has continued its relentless air strikes on the region. Over 2600 people have died while 10000 have been wounded in the air strikes. The hospitals have been overwhelmed with war patients. قطاع غزة يدخل على كارثة إنسانية هائلة بسبب هذه الحرب الشرسة التي تعدت حدود الدفاع عن النفس قطاع غزة في كارثة إذا استمرت الحرب بهذه الطريقة لن نستطيع نفن الموتى أساسا مقابر الأموات في مدينة دير الملح ملأة بالكامل نحتاج إلى مقبرة جديدة لدفن هذه الجثث Israel had earlier said that it would not allow any humanitarian corridor nor lift the total blockade until and unless Israeli hostages held by Hamas are freed. The palace the militant group continues to hold over 150 hostages which includes Israelis and foreign nationals.